we're going to install the HiViz TriViz Turkey front rear sight set. This is a very unique sight. It has a triangular front uh, sight post and the rear sight has two horizontal triangles. You align the tips of the triangles to establish your sight picture. In the package with the TriViz, what you'll find is a rear sight, the front sight base, extra light pipes, screws for the front sight, two lengths of screws, and the nuts to attach a rear sight. Let's start with the front sight. Once you've removed the bead, the front bead on the shotgun, we're going to install the front sight. So we're going to carefully peel the tape off of the double-sided adhesive. We're going to set the sight right over the screw hole, center it, and press it down. Then once we've selected the correct screw, we're going to install that into the existing bead hole, tighten it down. We recommend using a thread locker, low strength on the fastener itself. Now we're going to install the rear sight. The rear sight is flat on one side and it's got an angle on the other side. The angled side will go towards the receiver. This is the side that the light pipes illuminate from. If you place it on this way, you won't see the illumination of the light pipes. So when we install the rear sight, you want as much sight radius as you can get. But when you look at a shotgun barrel, from the end of the magazine going towards the chamber, usually about halfway in between that section, the barrel starts increasing in diameter. So how we install this sight is we merely flex the sight open around the rib and these pointed areas engage the rib or the vent in the rib. This particular shotgun has a very narrow rib. Now it's installed on sight. So in terms of sight radius, you want as much sight radius as you can get, but you don't want to encroach in this area of the barrel where the chamber is where it starts getting larger. If we install the sight here, the sight lifts up and it raises it up and you're going to have problems sighting it in. You won't have enough adjustment. So as long as you stay in this parallel section of the barrel, then you'll be fine. So I now have the rear sight on a vented area. And what I want to do is leave it right there and then included with the sight are long screws and short screws that go through the vent. There's two lengths. For narrow ribs, you want to use a shorter screw, of course. So what we have here is the slots in the back of the sight where the nuts sit. So you can set the nuts right in the sight. Slip it over the rib and I hold the nuts in place with my hand. Now we insert the screws through the sight and tighten them into the nuts not fully tight, but close. You can see that the rear sight will slide in the rib, or in the vent I'm in. So the vent is between two pillars on the rib. Before I tighten the sight up, I want to push it up until it contacts that front pillar. If I leave it towards the back, most likely under recoil, it's going to work its way up there while you're shooting. So we want to push the sight forward until it contacts that rib, and then snug the screws down. And they do not have to be overly tight. I'm using a small screwdriver and just snug will keep that sight in place. I often get comments of people asking about the durability of this rear sight. I can literally carry the shotgun by this rear sight. They're quite durable. Another thing you want to do prior to going out and shooting is on the top of the sight here you'll see a windage screw. If you unloosen the screw there's some ribs on the front and you can move the sight side to side for your windage adjustment. There are indexing marks on the top of the sight and there's a center mark. I would recommend first centering the sight and snugging the screw down. I would start there and make windage adjustments if necessary. So the windage adjustments are made on the rear sight. The front sight is how we adjust the elevation. Let's move to the front sight. This is a protective cover on the front sight. 
and it just pops off. This comes in the package with this installed on here, but you want to remove it when you, when you shoot. These triangles are quite sharp on the, on the tip and can get snagged in gun cases. That's why we include this cover you can snap over so you don't snag and break light pipes. So once we remove this cover, we'll find that we have three extra light pipes in the sight kit. We have a round light pipe and three triangles. The triangles have different heights and this is how we adjust our elevation. A taller triangle will lower your shot, a shorter triangle will raise your pattern. So in order to change the light pipes, I like to use one of the light pipes. And go to the muzzle end of the light pipe and simply push back on it. You can also remove the light pipe. The lock feature is right at the back of the light pipe. You can also lift up on the back of the light pipe, but I find that more difficult. Pushing it, you, you can remove them quite easily. So when you remove the one light pipe, they have a locking feature on the bottom, inserted in the front sight. Orient that lock towards the bottom and simply push it in until it locks. Another feature about this sight is it includes a round light pipe. All of our turkey sight sets come with a round light pipe on the front and are intended that you can remove the rear sight, leave the front sight in place, install the round light pipe, and use this as your shotgun bead for target shooting or wing shooting. All right, now we have our Trivis turkey sight installed. And if you're gonna transport or put it into a soft gun case, we attach that cover to it and prevent snagging the light pipe. But make sure you remove it when you're shooting or hunting. You can't see the light pipe through the cover. That's how we install the Trivis turkey sight set. If you have any questions or you wanna see our full line of turkey sight sets, you can visit our website, highvissights.com or call us 800-589-4315.